Millie and Molly loved visiting Farmer Hegarty's farm. There was always something to see or do. This flower smells really nice. That cloud looks like a flower. No, it doesn't. Looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> you sound like Humphrey. Watch out, or my dinosaur from outer space will eat you up. <laughs> we should bring me Splash and everyone up here. They'd like it. A picnic. We could have a class picnic. OK. Yeah. Oh, look, a pretty butterfly. Wait, little butterfly, show me where you live. <laughs> Maybe there's a whole family of butterflies, Molly. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> I think we should go the long way. Why? Oh, I see what you mean. Beefy. <gasps> Don't worry, he can't get out. I know, but he's still scary. Watch out, little buddy! We'll have to have our picnic a long way away from Beefy. Millie and Molly, what's the occasion? Um, we don't have an occasion. The farm's a nice place, that's all. We thought everyone would like it. Yeah, yeah I, I, love love I love picnics. I love picnics. I have to write I haven't I have 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 this place. I'm sure we will. I won't. Hi. Well, that's a shame, Humphrey. Perhaps you'd rather not go. I have lots of chores here you could do, like cleaning the blackboard, and there's all that rubbish oh. needs tending to. No, no, and... no I want to go now. Oh, good. Well, then, we'll go this Friday to celebrate the end of the week. What do you think? Yay! Millie and Molly had volunteered to cook up a surprise for the picnic. Well, let's see what else is in the recipe book. But deciding what to cook was trickier than they'd expected. Chocolate cake. But not everyone likes chocolate cake. Hmm. Banana cake? I think bananas give Jack spots. Well, what does he like? I don't remember. We'd better find out. So Millie and Molly started to watch what their friends liked to eat. First, they looked for Jack. Got him. Jack, he's going for something. What? We've got a carrot. Carrot for Jack. Huh? <laughs> hey! What? Nothing. about what they cook for some people in their class. Aha! Uh -huh. A carrot cake for Jack. We'll have to get some carrots. Carrots. And Meg, she likes apples. Apple cake? OK. Apples. And we could do an orange jelly for George. Orange jelly. We still have a lot of other people we don't know about, like Sophie. Will we have enough time? The picnic's at the end of the week. I hope so. Everyone has to have something they like. So for the rest of the week, Millie and Molly watched their other school friends. And they watched... And they watched... I'll get them out for you. Thanks, Mum. Are we cooking something for everyone now? We still haven't got anything for Sophie or Humphrey. We've only got tomorrow, because oh. the day after is picnic day. The next day, Millie and Molly watched Sophie extra carefully to see what food she liked. They watched her before school. Watch out! Didn't hurt. <laughs> they 
watched her during class. And they watched her in the playground. But Sophie soon started to feel better once she'd eaten some of her chocolate, which gave Millie and Molly the clue they were looking for. Chocolate cake. That should be everyone. Oh, no. We still haven't got something for Humphrey. I don't think he should get anything. See what he did to Sophie today? He's always bullying people. Mum says we should be kind anyway. Well, maybe we shouldn't leave him out. But what can we make him? The picnic's tomorrow. I don't even know what he likes. As the afternoon wore on, Millie and Molly's problems got bigger. Not coming? But why, Sophie? It'll be fun. A picnic on a farm. Uh-uh. But why not? Humphrey, he'll just wreck it for me. He's always picking on me. But Miss Blythe will be there. He always does things when she's not watching. Well, we'll stop him. Yeah. Can you really stop him? Of course. You've got to come. The picnic's for everyone. Besides, we made you a chocolate cake specially. A chocolate cake? <laughs> <laughs> so Sophie decided she would come on the big picnic to the farm. But Millie and Molly made sure that Sophie sat as far away from Humphrey as possible. Do you like your chocolate cake, Sophie? <laughs> I love it. Hey, there's real pieces of carrot in this cake. <laughs> I think Tom likes his blueberry muffins too. What a lovely picnic. Well done, Millie and Molly. Oh, look at the lamby. Come here, little one. Let me stroke your lovely woolly coat. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of your cake, Sophie. Oh, we made gingerbread men just for you, Humphrey. Don't like them. Smell funny. Smell this, Sophie. Uh Let's play over there, Sophie. Let's play over there, Sophie. You're so lame, Molly. Just ignore him. Let's go. Despite Humphrey's bullying, the picnic was a huge success and everyone enjoyed exploring the farm. Oh, no! Humphrey! <gasps> Where's he going? <sighs> What's he doing with Beefy? No, Humphrey! It's just a stupid cow, aren't you? Go on. Moo, moo. Dumb cow, move! Oh no, he's getting angry! Get out, Humphrey! He doesn't scare me, stupid bull! Please, Humphrey! He's going to charge! He'll hurt you! Really? Get out of there! Please! Get up! I hurt my ankle! He's seen Humphrey! Gingerbread man, Sophie? What, 
what's this for? So you can hit it out of my hand again? No. Thanks, Humphrey. Thank you, Humphrey. My mum made these for everyone, for saving. Everyone loves gingerbread. They do? Yeah, everyone. You mean, we didn't have to make something special for each person? I would have had a gingerbread. Yeah, me too. Yeah, sure. I love gingerbread. Me too. Everyone does. <laughs> and while Humphrey didn't quite have the manners to say thank you himself, he never did bully Sophie or anyone else in their class again. Ha, ha, ha.